Hi, this is JNM with a new Blender 2.8 video in which I want to show you a very early stage of development of my new fast sculpt add-on. You can use it to easily extract objects from masks and to join objects directly in sculpt mode. For example, if I wanted to add an ear to this head, the usual way would be to go to object mode, then to click somewhere and add a mesh, then you would rotate and scale it, then go back to sculpt mode, perhaps dynamic topology and increase the resolution. Then again to object mode to union this with the boolean modifier, but we don't want to do this, okay? It's very simple using the fast sculpt add-on, you just stay in sculpt mode. And perhaps you know this feature from ZBrush, you just paint a mask onto the object using the mask brush. In our example, this is the shape of an ear. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're just painting a base shape to extract a base mesh. Okay, something like this. You can also see it on the other side because we have symmetry enabled for the X axis. And now I'll go to the fast sculpt panel and set the thickness and the offset for the new extracted object. The offset are set to about 1.5. And I also check the remesh after extract option. This will use the new remesher made by Pablo Dobaro to remesh the object after it is extracted. This means this add-on needs the latest experimental build. I'll show this later on. Okay, now I press Extract Mask and what happens is that the base meshes for the ears are extracted. On the left and the right side because of the symmetry. And now I'll go ahead and select the Grab Brush. You can press the G key or select it here from the brushes. And the first thing I do is to hold the shift key down and the left mouse button and smooth out the edges. Okay, and now I have a good starting point and can use the grab brush to move these parts of the ear into the head and these parts here to the outside. So you can see it's a very fast process for getting started with your base mesh and you don't have to care for object modes and booleans. This will come in a later step you can just focus on your artwork. Okay, once you're done with this positioning and adjusting, you could go back to your mask brush and mask this inner area. Then you press Ctrl and the I key to invert the mask. And now you can use the grab or the snake hook brush to move this inner part more into the head to connect it. Okay, then get rid of the mask by pressing Alt and M. And now the topology is a bit stretched, so I remesh again. Perhaps you know Dynamesh from ZBrush. It's the same principle to create a more relaxed and even topology. Okay, and now I want to union the head and the ears and normally you would have to go back to object mode and use boolean modifiers. But here you can see with fast sculpt, you just select the target, which is the head. The ears are still active. And then you press bool union to get one object. And when you extract a new object later on, you just keep the head as the target selected. And then you can press one button to join the objects. I think this can be a big time saver in many situations and it's a lot of fun. Okay, now I go ahead and sculpt the ears, just the basic steps so that it looks a bit more realistic. Here you can see you can always remesh it, also with an increased remesh size. Here 
Here I remesh again, but I enable smooth normals to get a smooth shading after remeshing. Ok, it's not the best ear, but I think for the sake of this tutorial it's alright. And now I use the clay strips to indicate some eye sockets, just like this so that we see where the eyes would be and then I go ahead and use the mask brush again and paint in some eyebrows. Adding eyebrows can also be a tedious task, but with the extract function it's very simple. I set the extract offset to 0 so that there is no gap between the eyebrows and the head. And now you can smooth the eyebrows if you like, or use the scrape brush to give them a more stylized look and feel. As I said, you need the latest experimental blender build. With the new Mighty Remesher from Pablo Dobaro, you go to the experimental builds, and then you can download the version 2.81 for Windows, Mac or Linux. Ok, if you're interested in how this add-on is implemented, Let's go to the Python code and I will show you. This is the init file, init.py and here I imported the files for the panel and the operators and registered the classes. I also defined the seam properties here for the target object, the thickness for the extraction or the offset and stuff like this. I like to define these options as seam properties so that they are stored in your blend project file. Ok, let's have a look at the files, here I have some helper functions to switch the modes, you don't see that the mode is switched from object to edit or sculpt mode. It feels like that you stay in sculpt mode, for example when I union objects, but behind the scenes I switch the modes. And for this I use this functions. Alright, this is the extract operator, which extracts an object from a mask. And when it is invoked, I go to the sculpt mode first, and then I invert the mask and hide it after that. And then just the parts of the mesh are visible that I want to extract. I go to edit mode then, select the mesh and duplicate it. Then I separate a new object from this selection, and after that I have to get this new separated object. And this code works, but it's a bit unsafe, so I think I will refactor this. For example by creating a B-mesh from this edit mesh, I think this will be a cleaner solution for getting a reference to this object. Ok, after that I go back to sculpt mode, make the hidden parts visible again and remove the mask. This can be done by setting the value of the mask flood fill to 0. Then I make the new object the active one and add a solidify modifier. I use this modifier to do the extraction. And for this I can use my scene properties for the thickness and the offset. Then I go back to sculpt mode and if the option remesh after extract has been checked, I remesh the object by using the new feature voxel remesh. Ok, let's have a look at the panel where these operators are added. This is done in the draw method, here I also added my scene properties, for example the search box for the target object, and all the other properties like remesh after union, are added to the layout here as well, and also the operators like Extract Mask. The add-on is free, like all my add-ons, and you find it on my GitHub on this page, JNM Fast Sculpt, and you can clone or download it as zip file, nice typo here in the commit message, but as I said it's an early development stage. And you also need an experimental blender build, so it's all very experimental, but anyways I think it's a great helper and I hope you like it. You can support the development by being my patron, this would be really nice, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions or ideas then add these to the comments below. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next one.